What are the best possible armor enchants in Minecraft? Most people would say maxed out netherite armor, which typically uses protection 4. This is because protection 4 is the most versatile out of all the protection enchants, making it safer for most situations. Since the game only allows you to have one type of enchant on your armor at a time, most people don't use the other protection types. But what if this limit didn't exist? Believe it or not, there actually once was a version of Minecraft that allowed you to have all the enchant types on your armor at once. On May 27th, 2019, version 1.14.2 released. Exactly four weeks later, Mojang removed this feature after realizing it was too powerful for vanilla Minecraft. However, the damage was already done. You still have the ability to travel back to this version and abuse the change. So in this video, that's what I'm gonna do. By the end of this video, I will have the most powerful armor ever added to Minecraft. As I was collecting materials and exploring the area, I found this. This is great news, because if you find a pillager outpost, that means a village is nearby. And for the first step of my plan, I am definitely going to need one. Now that I'm here at the village, I'm going to make a little starter base that will double as a town hall for the villagers.
Now that that's finished, it's time to get to work on actually making some money. But first, I'm gonna have to go mining. Now that I've got a couple of villagers, I'm going to go ahead and make a wheat field so it's really easy to breed them. Around this point, things really started to pick up. After getting protection 4 from this guy, I decided it was about time for me to expand my money making capabilities.
was right around here that things started to go wrong. What happened next wasn't pretty, but it was absolutely necessary. I spent about two hours trying to get the villagers to be able to work inside of their cells, but it never worked. I spent a while trading with the villagers, and when I came out, I saw this. You've got to be kidding. Although I never initially planned on curing my villagers, these were the last two left in my village, so I was forced to. I had to prepare to go to the nether, and do it quick. I miraculously made it home alive and began to brew potions. Since my other mending villager died, I was forced to use this guy. Throughout this entire process, I was trading with villagers, mining trees, and replanting my fields. But at this point, I had made enough money to start getting librarians. At this point, I was filling up my chest pretty fast, and I had almost every book I needed for the project, with the exception of a few, and they were a painful few to say the least.
This combination of getting Depth Strider and going for Feather Falling 4 took me over 10 hours. The villager RNG was just not on my side. But now that I had all the books I needed, I had a hard decision to make. In order to combine all the books and put them on my armor, I was going to need a lot of experience. How much experience, you ask? 300 levels. I did the math. There are a couple of ways I can go about getting that experience. The first option is killing mobs and trading with villagers until I eventually combine all my books together and get it on the armor. But I mean, listen to that, it's boring. And this needs to be cinematic. So I'm gonna go for option two. Building a gold farm that won't work once I update the game. After about three seconds of deliberation, I decided I wanted to build a useless gold farm. It's now officially time to combine all of the books onto the armor. This took me over two real life days to do, so I'd really appreciate it if you could show this video some love. Without further ado, here it is.
Well, yeah, that's it. That's the armor done. As you guys can see, it has every single protection enchant on it, meaning I am extra protected from blasts, fire, and projectiles. Plus, I have normal protection, meaning I am pretty much unkillable. Now, all this armor is cool, but I've come to realize I don't really have a house. Sure, I've got this community center, but it's not mine, it's the villagers. I mean, I said that a while ago. So, I'm gonna build myself a beautiful house to go along with this beautiful set of armor. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a ton of fun making it and I hope you guys had just as much fun watching it. I'm going to do a lot more of these episodes, so stay tuned. And if you want to support the channel, subscribe and leave a like. That's all from me. Bye. Have a great day.